Hello and welcome to Infinity. Shadows and Highlights Controls. This is when you go into the develop persona, in other words you're editing a raw file straight from the camera. And down here we've got Shadows and Highlights which you need to turn on. And what it does is, it, as it says on the tin, you can increase or decrease the darks or the lights in a picture. The mid-tones it doesn't do anything to specifically but it will kind of like nudge into it because it puts more emphasis on the darker and lighter parts of the picture. So this picture here the sky is is a bit probably a bit too light and the ground could be doing with brightening up a bit. And you can see this in the histogram here that there's a hole in the middle. Also if we turn on these up here which shows clipped highlights and tones and so on, we can see there's actually some of this here is, is going white in the clouds. And that's one of the things that this addresses. So if I pull the highlights down, it restores that by pulling, see the bits there, it's fallen off the edge, but it's still there because it's a raw file. So we can pull that in there, look for the there, just get it to the edge. And then with the shadows, you can Bring a bit more light into the shadows here as well if you want to. And I'll often start off by with this too. And watching this, because see what I, by doing this, or by bringing down the highlights, pushing up the shadows, we're filling in the, the mid-tones there. See if we move this backwards and forwards, I'm just moving the shadow part. And I move this one backwards and forwards, I'm moving the highlight part. Which by and large are divided as, as anything above the middle is highlights, everything below the middle there is shadows. And then you can go on to dealing with some of these here. So you can put a little bit more in there, but you've got to watch out, of course, when it's here. So I can play around with this and use that clipping to see when they are going too far on that uh, and so on. I can deal with those. Anyway, that's method one, shadows and highlights. If I click develop, then I will, on the, the basic picture without any adjustment, I get to the original picture again, where I get this hole in the middle. And now I've got two more shadows and highlights controls. So I go to the adjustments, there's one here. And with this, if I say, well, let's do the same sort of thing, I bring highlights down, it's not a very nice adjustment there, is it? And it's actually pushed this thing quite a long way. So it's quite a, a very significant effect. One of the reasons for it doing like this is because we're now in the photo. So we're in sort of like the basic thing. We have, we've lost the detail you get in the raw file. So if you want to do shadows and highlights with a raw file, it's best to do it in the first develop module but it easily goes to a bit grey and it easily here go the other way. It sort of looks gone rather muddy here, isn't it? You're losing details, you're turning that up. So I don't use this particular shadows and highlights control. So I'll delete that one. And we've got one more to play with as well. In fact, there's two more. And if I go to the shadows and highlights here, now then I've got something similar here, but a bit more control. So now I can turn down, turn up the shadows, but also with the range I can see how much of this is being done. So if I turn it down it's only the very darkest parts. If I turn it up there's a lot more and it goes into the mid-tones. And we can see that here by watching what's happening on the histogram. So I turn that up here, pushes it all upwards, and if I pull this down here it drops it back because it's only pushed up a bit there but I push it all the way up here, then I push the whole thing up there and it's much brighter. And in this picture, you probably need a fair amount of this. Then highlight strength is similar the other way around. So I want to turn down this a little bit and look at what range I can do with this. So in fact, you might want to do this all the way to get a bit more dark into the sky, maybe a bit off that. So this is a, a pretty powerful one and I will tend to use this one rather than the one in the adjustments when I'm using the photo mode. So what also is up here, this version is also the default here. But there's also version 1.6. Back in the good old days in Affinity Photo 1.6, then there was another version and they kind of they had complaints about it when they changed it. So they left it in there through this. 
This gives you strength and range, but also gives you radius as well, which is a bit less clear, but also here the strength. You can only go in one direction. It's not in the middle. So but this gives me a bit more control here and you get a different effect. Look, see if I turn this down, it goes very muddy. I get more detail as I turn it up. So you can still use this one if you like, but I tend not to use it. So I use the, the default. Anyway, that's it. Three different, not sorry, four different shadows and highlights controls. Thank you very much for watching.